Welcome back. Another day of above seasonal temperatures here in Regina. Average this time of year is around minus seven and we climbed all the way up to one degree today. We'll start right now with a live look outside through our CTV Skycam brought to you by KFC Delivery and another beautiful night here in the Queen City. Currently sitting at minus two. The average low this time of year is minus 18 if you can believe it. We'll drop down to about minus six. Still well above that average and comfortable if you're making your way out this evening anywhere. Winds right now fairly calm out of the west southwest at 11 kilometers an hour. This time last year our high was minus 13 so hitting a high of plus one definitely nice considering we are just two weeks out from Christmas. Last year this time we saw a low of minus 23 so again very comfortable conditions if you're heading out anywhere over the next couple of hours. Currently we are seeing just a high of zero in Estevan much the same over in Weyburn and up in the Battleford seeing a high of minus two. Taking a closer look here over in Watchers minus one degree for them zero in Carlisle, a little bit cooler still in Mooseman at minus three. And as we look up towards Kenora and Camsack, sitting at minus four respectively, a little warmer though over towards Meadow Lake at zero degrees. And up north, cooler still in Orange at minus seven and minus 16 for our friends up in Stony Rapids. Our radar and satellite picture, not much to speak of in the way of active weather today. The potential for some snowfall. We saw the cloud cover start to make its way in throughout the day. But as we head overnight and into tomorrow, we are going to see that clear out. We do a fairly calm winds tomorrow and we're going to see a high of four degrees well above the seasonal average this time of year. Crazy to think that we're getting this nice of weather before Christmas and we're going to see on Tuesday probably some cloud cover start to roll in through the evening hours and on Wednesday we'll see that return for us here in Regina and towards our friends in Yorkton as well and so we could see the potential for some snow as we make our way towards late day Wednesday and into Thursday for our friends over in swift current. Right now Prince Albert seeing a high of minus five for tonight, three degrees tomorrow, partly cloudy skies for them. Much the same over in the Battlefords with three degrees tomorrow being your high. As you make your way over towards Saskatoon tomorrow, a high of three, partly cloudy skies for you, but again well above the seasonal average this time of year. So pleasant conditions really for everyone. Seven degrees tomorrow in swift current, an absolutely beautiful day on tap for you and much the same for friends in Moose Jaw. Mostly cloudy skies though, but you will see a high of seven degrees degrees, making our way over towards Weyburn and Estevan, much the same, although you are going to see more overcast conditions for you with a high of six degrees. And for our friends up in Yorkton, four degrees for you tomorrow and mostly cloudy conditions. Tonight here in the Queen City, we are going to see a high of minus six. Average this time of year is again around that minus 18 mark. So very nice conditions if you want to get out for maybe a walk with the dog. And tomorrow we are going to see a high of four degrees, partly cloudy skies, winds remaining fairly calm out of the west northwest at 20 kilometers an hour. We'll take a look at, right now at our seven day forecast brought to you by Capital Auto Mall, the Christmas kickoff flash sale at Capital Auto Mall. We are going to see that high of four degrees tomorrow. Very pleasant conditions and that will continue for really the next seven days above seasonal for us here in the Queen City. Very, very comfortable if you're going to get out at all. We are going to see the potential for a rain snow mix on Friday, a high of three degrees. And again, very nice conditions. Speaking of beautiful pups, we have disco here, courtesy of CTV Morning Live's Daryl. I don't think disco is naughty. I think that's just a very clever, clever tag he's got there. But again, we love getting your pictures here at CTV. You can send them to us at ckcknews at bellmedia.ca or submit them through the Weather Watch app. Hard to believe we are at day six of the 12 series of Christmas. Bill Thorne, welcome back from the Thank Regina you. Humane Society. And we have just the sweetest girl here in Zelda. So tell us a little bit about her. Well, Zelda is our longest resident dog. She's been with us longer than any other dogs that, uh, that we currently have in our care. She's about two years old, came in as a stray. Um, and has also been partially sponsored. So her adoption is uh, is only $99. She's been spayed last week. She's all set to go. And everyone at the, uh, at the shelter is really rooting for her that we can find her a home sometime before Christmas. She really is very sweet. She was a hit in the newsroom when she, she made her way in yeah. today. She's got a lot of love to give and would be perfect for, for somebody maybe with a more active lifestyle. Yeah, she's got lots of energy. And uh, she's going to need someone that, you know, like she's a go-getter. It's like go, go, go. That's her middle name. And she's going to 
need someone who can take her for lots of walks, play with her in the yard or, or wherever you can, and just burn off some of that energy because uh, she, she does uh, get bored easily and, uh, and uh, we want someone that's, uh, that's going to be able to, to run with her and, and to take her out and Absolutely. give her lots of things to do. If and people want to get a hold like of you guys, find out some more information about Zelda, how can they go about doing yeah, that? Yeah, you can see a profile for Zelda or any of the animals that we have available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's all online. It's in real time. So if people are looking, they can see what, uh, what animals are available at ReginaHumaneSociety.ca. Just click on adoptions and they're all listed there and a little bit of profile on each one of them as well. Well, hopefully we find a home for Zelda. I have to say she is very, very sweet. She likes to play and again, in the newsroom was an absolute hit. Yeah, so one more time, just the information for Zelda and the phone number and what time you guys open for adoptions. Yeah, she's uh, two years old. We open every day at noon for adoptions and uh, during the week we're open till six o'clock, uh, till eight o'clock on Thursdays until five on the weekends. She is very, very sweet. Again, if you want to get a hold of Zelda, you can reach out to the Regina Humane Society. You can give them a call, show up, follow them on. You guys have Twitter as well? People can yes, follow you? Yes, we do. Absolutely. So make sure you go and check them out. We'll get Zelda at home. She's very sweet. Lots of love to give and definitely would make a great pet for, for somebody who's got a, a brand new home. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much Send for coming home. in.